past one year? I think that, uh, as you mentioned, we are mark uh, today one year of October 7th. Israel is not the same Israel after October 7th. Uh, we are completely a uh, different country. Uh, today is a very, very sad day in Israel. Today we are remember so many people that killed, injured, kidnapped, burned alive, beheaded. And it's a, it's a very, very sad day in Israel. Uh, but what we've uh, passed in the last year, and I think that everybody understand that don't mess with us. When you kill Jewish people and you touch our historical nerves, you have to remember that there is a price for it. And you can hear it in Gaza, and you can hear it in Lebanon, and you can hear it in Yemen, and you can hear it in other places around the, in the Middle East. Uh, but it's a very, very sad day. You know, I always say that Israel is a very small country. It's nine million people. It's two and a half neighborhoods in Mumbai. In every family, in every house in Israel, everyone knows someone. Someone who kidnapped, burned, butchered, killed, kidnapped. And it's very difficult for us. This is part of our weakness, but it's also part of our strength. And I feel that uh, Israel is in the right direction, fighting against terrorism by all means. When I say by all means, is by all means. Uh, as you said that uh, Iran uh, sent almost 200 missiles to Israel, and there's no, almost no response from the United Nations or no interference from their side. So everyone is assuming that Israel will respond against uh, Iran and no one knows what kind of response will that be. So what is going to happen in the next few days between Israel, Hamas, Israel, Iran, Israel, Lebanon? There are many things going on simultaneously. So how do you see Israel's response against Iran? We work right now not in a parallel way. We are in a line way. I think that uh, Hamas is almost destroyed. Hezbollah, the proxy of Iran, get uh, completely uh, um, amazing, fantastic military operation that we made against uh, the leaders of, uh, of this organization. And I think that our Prime Minister make, make it very, very clear. Reaction will come not only in uh, Gaza or in Lebanon, every country that try to send rockets towards Israel, it will be a, an action against. And it, I think it's very, very clear. It's not only Prime Minister. It's the Israeli public opinion think that this is the right thing to do.